Hello babes, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name's Leanne and thanks for watching. On today's video, I'm going to do series two of the Dyson hair dryer and I'm going to obviously do the barrel, the curling barrel. This is the larger barrel as opposed to the smaller barrel. There are four barrels and I'm gonna use the two larger ones to create this look right here. If you guys are interested in learning how I got this look on my hair, please keep watching. Before we get started on the video, I just want to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notified via email whenever I do upload uh, a new video. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account at Leanne on the go. I'll be posting that link below. To start parting my hair, I went ahead and got some of the Bumble and Bumble hairdresser invisible oil. This is my favorite um, oil because it's not really uh, that oily and I can just apply it directly to the bottom of my hair. I try to stay away from this area because this area does get oily. The fastest is the top of the hair where it's nearest to your temple and scalp. So I just put it right here to make sure it doesn't really look so frizzy. So I went ahead and parted it two ways like i'm doing a pigtail and i have this right here that i usually use but i'm going to use this slip um, hair tie and just tie this part so this will be able to even curl my hair correctly so we're going we're going to start with the barrel for the dyson hair dryer with the arrow going outwards so the rule of thumb with like curling your hair and making it look big is always curl away from the face. You can curl inwards, but that's just been my rule of thumb is curling away from the face. So in order to get the correct uh, barrel for the Dyson hair dryer, because it is challenging at first, we want to get the arrow that's facing right, which is left on your screen. So uh, um, I'll make sure to put a note of that in the bottom of the link so you can remember. But remember, on your side of uh, looking into the mirror, you look at the barrel and make sure the arrow is going to where you want the hair to go towards, which is away from the face. So I have here going away from my face, the arrow is going away from my face. So I'll go ahead and start with the damp hair that I have. It's almost dry. Remember, do not uh, do the... Uh, drying part until uh, it's almost dry because if it's super wet it's not gonna look correct so let's just go ahead and get started so as you can see the biggest difference between this and the blowout barrel is it is a little more curly and it's supposed to be that way so we're just gonna keep doing that to all of the strand till it looks like this and then we'll just like brush it out with our hands slowly and uh, the best part about this is this actually just uh, grab directly onto the barrel itself this is more of the I guess automatic that it's just gonna suck your hair in as opposed to the uh, blowout barrel that we did on the, my previous videos how you kind of have to control it more but this is just you apply the hair and it will just suck it in directly and that does take practice because I did not do so well the first time so I just kept practicing and kept practicing and I become better at it so that's my tip for doing we are done with the right side of the hair and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply Waze texturizing hairspray I do like using the texturizing has hairspray because it does uh, give it a little texture to my hair so we'll just apply a little bit and we did kind of comb it out a little bit and we're just gonna keep it that way and not brush it out but it'll fall throughout the day as well and it'll look more effortless 
going to get started on the left side of the face uh, which is on your screen is probably looking like it's the right but I am doing now on my left side of the hair so I went ahead and put the barrel the arrow is going towards outside which is my left side so make sure what you are using this with the arrows going that way so I've already changed it and we'll just go ahead and get started on the left side two strands already curled the rest is still straight and this is going outwards away from the face and remember the arrow is going outwards from your left side so make sure you do have that and with the left side it's kind of it's not as automatic that the hair will attach to the barrel like it does on the right side so I like to kind of just like help wrap it around a little and it will just attach itself so So this is the uh, finished look from the left side and the right side and we are just going to apply the way hair care all over throughout. So it looks a little bigger and this is what I love about these barrels. These do obviously give more of the curly look than the blowout barrel but it just depends so right now I'm heading off to church and it's just a little more you know up done but it still look effortlessly done and curled but the blowout portion or the blowout barrel gives more of you know a regular blowout look so it's just up to you how you're feeling that day how you want your hair to look so it depends on where you're going uh, yeah, this is the look right here Alright guys, that wraps up my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for new videos uploaded by me every week. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I do upload them. And please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram account at Leanne on the go. I'll be posting that link below. And I do have a new account on liketonowit.com. So if you'd like to know more about where I purchase my clothes, you can have the direct link on where I posted them. Uh, you just have to download the Like to Know It app and follow me at Leanne on the go as well. Um, I'll be posting that link below. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.